this is, as many of you know, my favorite part is sharing dolls that have been made from my books and patterns. I love this and I love it when you all send me pictures as well and I like to po post many of them on my blog when I can. This doll is done by Lana Russick. I think it's just the most beautiful doll I've seen in a long time. Actually, they all are. And I love the way Lana did the hair and also the face. This is straight from the pattern. Lana didn't deviate anything in the pattern of the body. This is from the couture, which is the doll that we've been doing in the last couple of segments. So she's used the Tibetan wool on her hair and she used the white, the natural, because it's really fun to kind of test the color on your dolls, and we all agreed that the white looked the best on this particular doll. And this doll is done, again, by Sydney Cooper. I showed one of her other dolls earlier, but I, I just love what Sydney has done. She reduced the pattern. Same doll, let me put Lana's up, and you can see how much Sydney reduced the pattern of this doll from the couture book. And she's used the Tibetan wool as well, but she has put some hairspray in it to kind of stiffen it, to get it into the shape that she wanted. So you can see how you can change the Tibetan or any of the wools and mohairs that you want. You can just change it. You can even put some wire in there and wrap it around to make it look like it's windblown or whatever. And you can see how the wings kind of help hold this hair up too. I think that's a very clever idea that Sydney came up with. And this is a doll from Penny Gallman. It's my Valandrial pattern, so it's a, just a pattern, not one from one of my books. And she has used a fun wool, which is crimped, and you can get this in, it comes in a, it's called roving, and I love that that it's crimped and she's just pulled sections away from the roving and hand sewn it to the doll's head. And this doll is two size and she's done a fun job of dyeing the lace which we will get into later on too. This is a doll by a friend of mine, Candy Scott. Uh, she has reduced the pattern from the first book this is the beginning doll body and then the more advanced face. Candy also has elongated the nose. You can see how the nose is a little longer than my dolls. And she has used a yarn, or wool as they call it in some areas. This comes on a skein and it's really fun. And she said that Amy Butler, who is a wonderful illustrator of fairy books and children's books. This was her inspiration, was one of Amy's fairies. And I just think this is a really unique doll. So this gives you some ideas of what you can do with the bodies that, are, that we've gone over and the bodies that are in my books. But also keep in mind, any of the techniques that we're going over in this DVD set can be used on any pattern. It doesn't have to be from my books or my patterns. It can be from anybody's books and patterns. So I just wanted to share all of these fun little techniques with you. And the next thing we're going to be doing is some direct dyeing and dyeing of laces. So I will see you in just a little bit.